Hi friends, welcome back to a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you're having a wonderful day and that you are enjoying spring. We finally got some good weather here, so I'm trying to enjoy that as much as possible. Now in this video, I'm going to restyle my dining area. You remember this console table that I've had for the past three years already. I've really enjoyed this piece. It has been silver. For the most part of the time that i had it and just the last year i think i spray painted it cold i really love this piece and i think it is classic it is elegant but ever since i did my kitchen remodel i was in desperate need of storage space so as pretty as this console table is i decided to part with it and replace it for a credenza and you guys you know i love my good pieces i found this piece on a marketplace so let me show you what i did to it and how i styled it for the spring and this is the new credenza and i am loving it and i do have the um, drawers here and i have my console table there but yes i just put it in its place just to see how it will fit of course it's not going to be this high because it is standing on these uh, uh transport casters but i'm loving this you guys look at the storage space because ever since i got my new kitchen i do not have enough storage space and this is perfect and it is as um wide as the console table was so it doesn't take up more space here and what i love is that it has three drawers and you guys it doesn't matter because every home needs to have a junk drawer no matter how tidy you are you have to have a place to put your knickknacks so i am really happy with this piece and i can now finally um, store away i had two more boxes you guys that i couldn't unpack because i didn't have the space uh, ever since i uh, remodeled the kitchen today it is sunday i'm going to start priming this because i'm going to paint it white and i was already looking uh, online for some new handles because of course these are not the handles that i want and they are a bit tarnished as you can see so this has got to go and you guys i'm gonna clean this up and then start priming it at this water so that is how dirty this dresser was and yeah oh my it is so important to clean whatever you bring into your home because it might seem clean but it's definitely not So it's the next day and as you can see I'm in my car because I am standing out here at the hardware store and uh, yesterday I was start I started painting the credenza and I ran into a little problem it was bleeding the wood was bleeding I didn't have that happen to me before and I thought also because it wasn't cherry um, cherry wood because it turned out it was a different kind of wood i looked it up on the internet and there was this whole bunch of different type of wood that would bleed and i think it's probably one of them because like i said i used i usually have cherry wood uh, pieces that i thrift or actually never thrifted one <laughs> but found it on facebook marketplace and this one the color wasn't that red so guess it wasn't cherry wood but anyway i'm here at the hardware store because i'm going to get some primer to isolate the color if that makes any sense i've looked it up and the primer that i use wasn't enough so i have to get like the better stuff 
that can really help prevent the bleeding because otherwise I would keep on painting over it and it doesn't matter at all because it will keep on bleeding so yeah I'm gonna go inside now and get the paint so I can continue painting it is Monday and when I get home I'm not sure if I'm gonna start I'm gonna do one part just to see how it dries and uh, tomorrow I have to go to the office and on Wednesday I'm going into the office also so I do not have a lot of time uh, to paint on those two days so I'm gonna start doing a little piece just to see if it will work so I just got back and um, they didn't have anything they did not have a primer to use on wood to prevent bleeding tons of primers to use on walls but not on wood and really I was amazed about that but anyway I am on my way now to uh, the next hardware store and I really do hope that they have it oh I'm so heartbroken because it's gonna take a lot of work if I have to send everything down and if I have to do that I have to take it outside it has to be dry because that's the only way I could send everything back down. Let's just keep our fingers crossed that this next hardware store does have it. So I'm back and I was so in luck because they only had just one can and that's um, uh, this one. It is... Um, I don't know this brand, but there um, here you see in Dutch it says to prevent bleeding. So if this doesn't work, then this credenza is going to be extremely pricey because um, this can cost me 22 euros. So I do hope, and it is enough for uh, five five square meters. So I only have to do uh, the top, the sides and the, the, the doors and the drawers. So I think that should be enough. But I'm really starting to doubt this project that I started. But I'm going to go home now and I'm going to show you how the credence is looking like. I'm sorry that I don't have the footage for you guys because when I got home it was already late and I was tired so I didn't film anymore and of course a few days later I forgot about filming that part and I just went ahead and painted the entire credenza and it looks so so good the only thing is that the parts that I didn't paint um, with the first primer the results were much better but but there's a slight color difference with the parts that I already had painted and the parts that I did for the first time with the primer that I bought. It's hardly noticeable, so I'm happy with the result of the primer. These just came in the mail and I wanted like those handles that you don't need to put your fingers through because my nail polish it gives off it drops off on everything so I thought this way I won't touch the cabinets when I try to open the drawers and the cabinet doors but I also love these because they're metal and they are gold or brass color but they are not like too shiny I don't want that now they do come with their own set of screws but I'm going to show you these screws are too small. So here, um, especially for the drawers. Oh, let me see if I can open it like this. Yeah, for the drawers here. Well, of course, this is not going to fit. So I'm going to keep the screws from the cabinet itself and use them to um, secure these handles. Now, I did run across this small challenge here. Um, this is as far as the screw will tie it into the handle. And as you can see, it is going to stick out uh, on the inside. 
so I'm gonna see if I have something to fix that and um, yeah because otherwise it's gonna stay loose on a drawer and I don't want that or I need to check to see if I have a shorter screws but I need to see how I'm gonna fix this because this is definitely not the way uh, to keep this I have this uh, assorted set of washers and I do not have anything that's like thick enough to put in between so I decided because these are a little bit too big they can hold the screw but as you can see yeah it's not the most ideal size so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using this smaller one first having it more secure like that and then I'm gonna be using two of these um like this to make it thicker and now let me show you in the drawer how it looks this is how it looks and on the outside this is how much it sticks out so this is perfect and i think that this should work so i'm gonna try to uh, tighten this handle and see how it works and if it does, then I can do uh, the other two drawers as well. So it turned out that I needed three of the larger uh, washers in between because it was still hard to uh, tighten the screw into the handle and this way it was easier so yeah I think it looks really pretty now and I'm gonna be doing uh, the rest of the drawers and the doors how it looks like with the handles on it and I am totally in love with this credenza I love that it is big it is tall but not taking up a lot of space and the handles you guys I am really loving these I love how simple they look and making this credenza look really really classy and like a really finished piece now let the fun part begin we are going to style this up these pretty stems and <laughs> they really do shed a lot and I have to spray them with some um, clear spray but I didn't have the time to do so just yet so I'm going to be using them arranging them in this phase and then at another day I will be uh, spraying them to protect them because I do not want all this all the time <laughs> everywhere I found these and they were um, I don't I'm not sure how much they were new price I think they were uh, $6.99 and they marked them down to one euro and I got five of these stamps and I also got some darker ones uh, for more when it's in the fall season these lighter ones they're a bit yellowy and I think that they are perfect now for the spring and even for the summer season
I've been doing a bit more drifting lately and I wanted to do a haul for you guys but I just didn't get the time to do that so you're gonna see me decorating with the pieces that I found one of them being this beautiful set of rustic keys I got these only for one euro and fifty and I like how they bring extra interest to a space now you guys I wasn't really happy with how I styled this so I removed everything and I started all over um, a few days later so you're gonna see me doing the credenza all over now doing something completely different the reason that I didn't like the first styling is that I felt it was missing some color so I brought back in my large blue bowl and I added some green pieces to it because I just missed that and it is spring so I need to bring a little bit more color and green to my decor. I think the space looks so much better now with all the new pieces that I added. Now I also went ahead and installed LED lights at the back of this credenza and this is the final result. Since I already had created this arrangement, I went ahead and used it in this area of my kitchen here. Mm -hmm. 